Okay, alright, back at it again. Very sorry about uh, the disturbance in the last episode, but we're moving on to uh, New Camelot. New Camelot. This trip is getting real weird, real fast. I jumped as a drone flew close. Uh, I jumped as a drone flew close. It dropped the package into my arms. Thanks, fulfilling Mapo Quest helps us to re establish liberty in America. Maple Quest 1 success. You hit bonus 2 in a job and received the varmint hat or found it another way. You gain money. $100. Wow. Thanks, Maple Drone. Maple Quest 2 success. You helped the team. You gain 20 health. What? What? Okay, this wasn't in the demo. So this is a new um, element to the game. And that's so interesting. Okay, I want to talk about this because... The ethical question here is, do I follow the Kantian law and stick to the rules? Or am I a utilitarian where I want to make everyone happy? Of course, there are certain people that I know I can't let in. For example, Dave, because he is a fringe person. But at the same time, am I judging him based on how he looks and the perception of others or is it really that he's just that crazy i don't know i don't know but i feel like my first choice in not letting dave in was right but at the same time i'm second guessing myself as well and this is why i like games like this because it it does help you question your own ethical quandaries your own your own ethical decisions like what would you choose to do in that uh in that situation because right now like you you're getting you're reaping the benefits of uh your right choice essentially but i didn't know that i would get you know a reward because essentially my my reward was gaining more information in a way it wasn't really to gain extra stuff extra reward if that makes any sense it was just a means to an end but instead of a means to an end i got double good karma because i helped someone in need so oh that's hard man that is hard mempo quest 3 incomplete you did not remember slash guess jorge's last name okay that's that's my bad i i thought it was um jorge like eduardo or something uh the first time i just I panicked, <laughs> to be honest. Grade B achieved. All right. I pull over for gas on my way out of Billings. Gas to New Camelot, three hundred dollars per day. What the fuck? That is very expensive, dude. If you convert it to Malaysian ringgit, this is, uh, one thousand five hundred ringgit. You know, y your money is five times our money, so. 337 miles to this new Camelot thing. I drove southeast. Dun, 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 dun. You're traveling the country. Malik. What up? On my way to Salt Lake. You good? Yeah, you ever been to Mount Rushmore? No. Place is supposedly a 24 7 rent fair now. For real, we gotta come back here together. I'm down, Lamau. The snowy plains of Montana faded into the sprawling stretch of South Dakota. Oh, well, that's interesting. Time for a restroom stop. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be like a weird place to go for a restroom, dude. Like a new Camelot? Probably, probably, you know. Probably, I don't know, it's gonna be a roadside kind of deal. I pulled up a building with peeling paint and boarded up windows. 
The sign read Bo's Diner. It used to be Bobby's Diner before half the letters fall, fell off. It looked far more murder shack than diner. But nature was calling. I went inside and did my business. When I came out, a greasy man jabbed a finger at a sign that re- read Restrooms for customers only. I took a seat. The only item on the show, uh, on the soup menu, fuck. The only me- <laughs> the only item on the menu is soup. The greasy man waited for my order. I can't read for shit today. I'm sorry. I'm tired. Soup. Uh, soup sounded good. A bowl of purple chunky goop arrived. I don't think I was supposed to choose go- soup, did I? A sweet fungal aroma wafted my direction. Uh, I'm not desperate to eat uh, goopy mushroom s- soup. <laughs> I'm not desperate enough to eat goopy mushroom death soup. I scanned the rest of the diner. Two of the customers were slumped forward in the booth. Sleeping in here maybe. The air was smoky. The heat from the kitchen unbearable. Two similarly greasy men emerged to drag one of the customers into the kitchen. I watched under the camera on my eye. I quickly left as they dis- disappeared through the divider. I ran straight for the car and scrambled for my keys. I sped away from the diner. Tra- terrified, the greasy man would appear in the rear view. After... After an hour, I pulled over, cranked down the window, and puked. You lose morale. 20. What the fuck? What was that place? Probably a murder place? And here I thought the trip was going to be easy. I continued driving, still in shock. Finally, I arrived at New Camelot. Um, this one's gonna be a bit harder because I have to shoot people, and it's a uh, it's a bit weird. Complain, we why we won't miss air travel. With plane travel restricted except for the military and MAPO, we remind you why you shouldn't shed a tear. In fact, rejoice the fact that it's gone. Five airports they suck. Delay four delays not a problem when you can't go anywhere. Three planet fewer planes healthier planet. Just ask New York City NYC. Turbulence no one likes to think they're gonna die. Airports really period. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they used period um, airports twice. It's funny. I had arrived in New Camelot when democracy collapsed in twenty eighteen. Two factions emerged: the Alliance and the Manders. The Mothers rallied the power of God and guns to their side in the south. The Alliance welcomed the rest of the states into their warm, inclusive embrace, and made the, inf- the main and made the formation of places like New Camelot possible. The Anglophiles, Renaissance, Fair Crowned, and the fantasy nerds came together and claimed a city of their own. The Camelot Lunch Theater was the hot spot in town. A parade of knights streamed through the door, each bearing their own emblem. A bearded man in tattered wizard robes was turned away at the door. Maybe this was the wizard I was looking for. I called out to the man. Hey, wizard. Wizard, nay, sellsword addressed me correctly. Hey, mage. That's better. But how art thou speaking to me? How didst thou break my level 3 cloaking spell? I could see you leaving. I see, I see. Dispel magic. Well met. Always good to run into a fellow magician. Anyway, I'm looking for Jorge Suarez. Do you know him? Uh, Jorge, yes. A very good friend to the mages. See, art thou a sell sword like he? Yes, I'm a bouncer. Huzzah! That means you can get me into the hallowed halls of Camelot. I need to know where Jorge is. Owen helps a mage in a time of need, and mage will help you in return. Camelot is hiring bouncers today. They'll tell you to only let the knights in, but you'll see me and let you in. Then you'll tell me about Jorge? Indeed! I'll meet you here back at dawn. Alright, seemed easy enough. I take the bouncer job and get a lead on Jorge all at once. So, Kenya is talking now. Hey, Kev, Mapo, quests, follow a pen, work quests, reward you money, helping people, helping, helping people reward you health. Making good decisions reward morale. Got it. No, now, do you know? How do you know Mapo? It's a long story. Psh, that's all. Alright. 
Bouncer shop, automatic messages, new clipboards, uh, skins in stock, check bouncer in tab. Alright, well, let's see the shop for a bit here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's sort the skins and stuff, so. Um, probably not for now. I'm only gonna buy stuff if I really, really need it, though. Hello, I'm here for the bouncer job. You're welcomed into my service. I'm Lord Lupo. Cool, what's up, Lord? That's my Lord to you. Ugh, I'm sick of hiring outside help. Ahem. Any special rules, try No minors. Watch out for fake IDs. Check the birthday, expiration date, photo, and uh, follow hologram is present. Ah oh, man, photo. I hate to check the photos. And no wizards. They're scourge to the realm. What about mages? Mages, witches, witches wizards, druids, conjurers. They're all trouble. They use balloon magic to follow, fly over the queue. If you spot one, show no weakness. Hit them with a spear. Is that legal? As long as I sit up upon the throne, my word is law, which means on Mondays and Thursdays. Sounds like nothing could possibly go wrong. Godspeed, Sellsword. Man, they're taking the LARP thing pretty uh, pretty seriously. Alright, let's go. So this is how you shoot the arrows by the way. No wizards man, get out of my line. I realize I'm not checking the, the fucking uh, photos though. I guess it's a bit harder because it's um, like they're blitzed out by the whole blurry thingy. Peter Lloyd. I guess it's just underlined. No, 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 this January. Ah, forgot. Okay. No, I thought that was. Um, sorry, I thought that was uh, July, but it's. Uh, yeah. This is July, but yeah, I realized I put it in um, uh, British Bay. Sorry, sorry. I just got confused, that's all. Uh, good, good, good. Sorry, when I mount the task, I, I, I kind of just. I'm just all over the place really. I really hate multitasking by the way. It makes my mind just fuck up. Nice. Probably can get some more in here.
I guess playing the demo really helps you navigate the. Uh. Ah, oh, fuck the ah. The expiry though, damn. Uh, navigate the gameplay more, cause I think without the without the demo, I would be failing this much more. My bad. Ah, nice. I caught it. Haha. -ha! I think that's it. Yeah. I did pretty good. Twenty-five out of the twenty. That's about a hundred fifty percent. Oh, sorry, I forgot I'm supposed to read. All done. Great job, Sellsword. They shall boast of your skills in feasts to come. Thank you, my lord. Here you go. You gain money, $160. Uh, the Knights of the Realm have a special di dinner tomorrow. It's a ticketed event. Shall you fancy a few extra coins in your pockets? Come serve your lord. Okay. One last thing, Sellsword. We have a report. We have reports of a mage gaining illegal entry. Said mage cast a level 5 acid splash into the rum punch. They threw him out, of course, but it was too late for the some of our most loyal knights. They spent the evening l licking condensation from the stained glass windows. Would you know anything about this? The, that mage, she cast charm person upon me. Ah, that makes sense, Sellsword. No harm done. I could tell you where it's the most low, and we amassed quite the blackmail material. Go now, Sellsword, before I change my mind. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye, my lord. Well, I don't know, man. Can I get, like, killed if I let him look <laughs> in? I return to the Camelot Theater first thing in the morning. Working didn't leave much for sleep. It takes a toll. Found Joe perched on a tree branch peering over the Camelot walls. Flight spells not working this early? Uh, thanks for letting me in last night. Alas, the knights had some sort of invisibility ward. They saw me right away. That's too bad. Not to worry, I have many tricks up these sleeves. I acid splashed the rum and stole the sacred gem of my lunchman. Not going to ask you what you did with that gem. And now as promised, I'll tell you about Jorge. Is he still in town? Nay, he passed through here on an epic journey to the lands honoring the Duke of York. The who? You know it is as New York City. It's a long, arduous trek through the arid plague lands. You mean the pandemic zone? Hi. Few routes remain, but the only entrance is through the city of Wynn, which is Chicago. Let me guess, Chicago. Indeed, and since I'm in your bed, in your debt, take this major's visor. May it protect you on your journey. Okay, yeah, I remember this. Yep, yep, yep. I need to wear this mask. A surgical mask? No mirror. No mirror mask. Tisk a magical one to defend one's lungs in the plague lands. Sure, thanks for all you have, Joe. I work for Lord Lupo again. His banquet could be a money spinner. Yeah, probably. He is rich after all. It's a business, you know. Ah, Selsword. You have returned to my service. Yes, my lord. Excellent, for it is the most joyous occasion. The knights of the round table will assemble tonight. All knights must present a special round table ticket for entry. So the ticket's around? Nay, Salsword. Imagine the printing costs. <laughs> it would be very expensive. The table's round. The tickets are rectangular. But some try to fake the tickets. How do I know what the fakes look like? Examine the tickets closely. If they're fake, the sword will not connect to the stone. Oh, okay. Thanks for being so cryptic about the rule you want me to enforce. Uh, no miners and fake IDs as usual? Correct. And no wizards? Never! You got it. What does he have against wizards though? That's what I want to know. Probably because some of them trash the place. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense! No wizards, no guns. Okay, I just realized that. Let's go, people. Time's a ticking.
bye. It's pretty pretty easy to spot uh, fake tickets, but I'm again doing too many things because I have to catch the um, uh, the fake IDs as well. I get really quiet when I focus, so I'm sorry guys. Oh, I got a little photo as well, shit. I didn't realize. I think it's the one in person yet. Have a ticket, then she just want to come in. Yeah, no wizards, man. Sorry. Ah, expired. Oh well, I already passed bonus too, so it should be fine. Oh my, check clothing. Oh right. one uh my bad i think the last few ones i kind of just rushed through so that's kind of very my bad on my part so and then not too bad two out of five i'm only human all done incredible cell sword bonus for you today thanks here's your coin 162 yeah because i got only six in so i mean it's fair our transactions are complete. Cellsword, I've grown fond of you. Take this on your journey. Oh, are you uniting me? My my, is that a spark of interest in the medieval way of life? Here, an iron umbrella. Oh. Wow. Wow. What do I need the umbrella for? Carrying swords outside of... Camelot is frowned upon. Can't imagine why. No matter where you travel, no matter what ill fortune you encounter, raise thy iron of blood umbrella to the stars and show the heathens your knight of new Camelot. Or if it begins to rain. <laughs> okay, makes sense. I guess it's gonna rain then. Uh, 
And finding this Jorge was harder than I expected. Working didn't leave much time for sleep, it takes its toll, it leaves 10 health. I found Joe buying helium tanks. I'm leaving for the plague lands, Joe. Maybe I can catch Jorge before he makes it to New York. You have to you have brought peace to Camelot. Fare thee well, fellow mage. Mage or grand mage? We magic folk have enough enemies, Kevin. Let us not quibble. Keep that hate bottle for the bards. <laughs> Cell sword, on your way to the grand city of Gusty Clouds, do not attack the I-90. Checkpoints are in place, hunting out magic users, such as ourselves. If challenged, mention you oh if challenged, mention you work for Lupo. His name carries weight with the knights. Okay, thanks again, Joe. These nerds were all right, but it's time to go. And that's all for new Camelot, people. Thank you guys for so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!